Hello my friends, this is Petru from Gulian Technology. Last time we discussed about SSH protocol. We installed SSH on Ubuntu machine, we explained why we need SSH and we managed the virtual machine using SSH. Today I would like to show you how to use a dictionary attack in order to crack an SSH password. For this we will use two virtual machines. We'll use Kali Linux and we'll use our Ubuntu machine. The diagram that we have in this lab is the following. As you can see, we have a Kali Linux VM with the IP address 192.168.121 and a Ubuntu machine with the IP address 192.168.1.100. 30. Both VMs are connected to the wireless access point. So let's get started. The first step that we need to take is to check if the target host is reachable. For this we will use a ping command. I will write ping 192.168.1.100 as you can see, the target host is reachable. The next step that we need to take is to use Nmap. Nmap is a discovery utility which permits us to check the services which are running on the target machine. We will run the command similar to this one, Nmap, and we'll specify the IP address of the target host. In our case it is 192.168.1.130 and I will press enter. As you can see the, from the output the Ubuntu machine, the target host is running SSH and the port 22 on which SSH is running is in an open state. So this means that we can the, the machine is waiting for connections on port 22. Now what we need to do is download the most used 1000 commands on our Linux, on our Kali Linux machine. I'll open the browser and I will write here 1000 most used password. Not the first, the second link in the, in the results is a GitHub page. I will open this page. As you can see here we have a file with the most used 1000 passwords. What we need to do is to go here and we need to copy the link. You need to press here. I will copy the link. Now I'll go back to my terminal. I'll create a directory where to download this repository. I will enter into the directory and I will write the command git clone and I will paste the URI uh, from the browser and I will press enter. As you can see a new uh, folder was downloaded. We will go inside this folder. I will run a less command once again. And now we need to enter in the old lists directory. Here we have a file with our passwords. I can run a cat command to check the passwords. Here we have all the passwords. If we check how many passwords we have, we can use the WC utility with the dash l option and specify the uh, text file. We can see that we have 1000 passwords. Now after we have downloaded the 1000 most used passwords we need to use the Hydra utility which is installed by default on uh, our Kali machine. If I run Hydra without any option, it is giving me some output and in the, the last thing that we have is an example. 
So we will use the a command similar to this one. I will run Hydra with dash L we specify the username. In my case I will use the Brutus username. Now the next step that I need to do is to specify the password. Now I will specify the name of the file which contains the passwords. Next we need to specify the target host. In our case the IP address of the target host is 192.168.1.130 and we need to specify the protocol. In our case we want to uh, use a dictionary attack on the SSH protocol. So I run SSH and press enter. Now we need to wait to see if the Hydra software will crack the password for the our target VM. Hydra found the login credentials. So we have the username Brutus and the password I love you. If we go back to our machine, to our Ubuntu machine, and if we check the logs, we will see that there are there were a couple of SSH connections. Now what we need to do is to after we have found the password for the, our target host, we can log into the target host. For this I will use the SSH command. I will specify the user account and I will add the IP address of, uh, of uh, the target host and I will press enter. Uh, when you connect for the first time to a, an SSH to a target machine using SSH you need to specify if you want to connect to the to the target machine. Here because we don't know the the authenticity of the of the host is unknown because this is the first time when we connect to this machine now we need to enter the s and press enter and now we need to specify the password i have the password here i will write it here i love you as you can see I am connected to the target host which is an Ubuntu machine and I am using the Brutus account. The next the final step is to discover the target host. In conclusion next time when you configure your password please use a stronger password. As you can see, it doesn't take long to crack it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye.